Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist at Adobe for Flex. So I want to talk to you about a better way to exchange data between a Flex application and a server. So there's a lot of different options that you have in Flex for moving data back and forth. SOAP is one option, uh, RESTful XML is another option, JSON. Uh, but really, the best thing to use between client, server, and Flex is AMF. So I have a demo I want to show you that shows why AMF is the best option. So this is called Census. It's found on my blog, jamesward.com slash census, and it allows you to explore the different options for moving data between client and server and compare them. So let's take a quick look at a couple of the options. Let's look at Flex talking to an XML service. We're going to get 5,000 rows of data from the server. We're going to serialize that data into XML, gzip it, and then send it to the client and render it in a Flex data grid. So let's run this one and see how long this all takes. So it's going out to my server, fetching the data, then turning it into XML, sending it back across the wire, then deserializing that XML and rendering it into a data grid. So here we go, we see all 5,000 rows loaded, and that was actually pretty fast. We're looking at just about six seconds to get that 5,000 rows of data. Flex is extremely fast at doing XML. This is a great option, but I want to show you AMF and show you just how much better we can be. So let's run the AMF one, same 5,000 rows, and execute that one. So now we'll see 5,000 rows, same data, just a different serialization format across the wire, and we've already got that data back. That took about three seconds to get that data, so about half the time for the same amount of data. Uh, you can also see if we drill down into this data some reasons why that, that it was faster. One of those reasons is that it took less time on the server to serialize the data into AMF. There was less data to serialize, less data to move across the wire. The parsing on the client side was also much faster. And so really, AMF is a great choice for when you're moving data back and forth across the wire with Flex. So let's actually talk about how you actually use AMF now. AMF is a published protocol. There's lots of different implementations of AMF for everything from Java to .NET to PHP, Python, Ruby, ColdFusion. You can do, cold, you can do AMF in a variety of different ways. Uh, I want to show you how to do it with Java. So what I've done is I've set up a server with Tomcat and just a simple database on my computer. So I've gone and downloaded BlazeDS. We could also use Lifecycle Data Services as well. And I've taken the BlazeDS libraries, put them into my WAR file. If we take a look here, those are just in my webinf lib folder. I've added some source code, some Java code to my server and compiled that. And let's take a look at, at what I've actually added here. So what I'm looking at is a census service object. This is a Java object that's actually going to my database, getting the data, and just returning it. So there's a get elements method on there. It takes two parameters to begin an account. We just go through the database, uh, get the data, serialize it into objects, and then return it. So now with BlazeDS or LCDS, in order to get that data exposed in a way that, that we can then pull it out uh, in a Flex application, we set up a configuration file. This is the remoting config, and in the remoting config, we have a destination. We give it an ID, we call it census, and then we tell it what actual Java class we're going to do remoting to, in this case, just the census service object. So that's our back-end configuration. So now let's actually build the front-end Flex interface to interact with this back-end data. So I'm just going to create a new Flex project. And let's see, new Flex project. Now I'm going to call this one census test and specify that it's going to use a server. Hit next, and now I configure where my server is located. Let's validate that and make sure that everything is good. It is and hit finish. So now we're just going to add a few lines of code to this application to allow it to interact with that backend census service. So the first thing that I'm going to add is going to be a remote object. So a remote object is the client side flex library to interact with these backend remotable services. So I'm going to give it an ID, we'll call it RO, and set the destination to be census. Now I'm going to add a data grid. And the data grid is just going to allow us to display the data. I'm going to set the data provider on the data grid. What we're actually going to set the data provider to is going to be a binding expression that's going to bind to the data that we get back from calling that service. So that's actually going to be ro.getElements. So we're specifying get elements. That's actually the method name that we're calling. Uh, and this is just a convention on remote object that allows us to bind to the result that we're getting back. Then we also have to specify .lastResult. 
So now that binding expression we put inside the curly braces, and now when we get the response back from the server, that binding will trigger, and the data will be displayed in the data grid. Last thing to do here is let's add a button, give it a label of get data, and add a click event handler. So now when the user clicks this button, we're going to call the remote object, call the get elements method on the remote object, and pass it the two parameters that that backend service needs. So the first one is where do we start? We'll start at zero, and then we'll do how many records do we want? 20,000. That's the full number of items that I have in my database. I save that, it compiles, and let's go run this and make sure it works. So now this is actually gonna, gonna run, and when I click get data, it's gonna connect to my server that's in this case running locally, make that query to that object, uh, make that method call on it, get the data from the database, return it as, as AMF data to the Flex client, and then we'll display that data in the data grid. So let's give it a try. Let's call get data, and there we go. That was 20,000 rows. Might have been a little too fast, so let's run that again so you can see exactly what's happening here. We call get data. And there we go, we got our 20,000 rows all displayed in our Flex data grid. We can even do client-side sorting of this data uh, exceptionally fast. And so this is really a great way to move this data back and forth across the wire. Super easy to set up with BlazeDS or LCDS. So definitely encourage you to give AMF a try. It's a great way to move this data around, uh, much more performant, uh, much more efficient. So uh, go to opensource.adobe.com to get BlazeDS uh, or go to adobe.com to find out more information about LCDS. So, Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.